You know, we have some pieces of equipment on our automobiles. We call them shock absorbers. Recently, I was in the hospital room with one of our wonderful ladies. And with tears on her cheeks, she said to me, Pastor, it's hard when the doctor tells you that you have cancer and you had no idea that you were ill or something like this coming upon you. And you know, I got to thinking about what a shock that must, must be. But you know, I'm glad that we Christians have some shock absorbers. And they're right here in this book. Aren't you thankful for that? And when the shocks, I mean real tremors come, like the San Francisco earthquake, to our spiritual lives, to us physically, thank God we have some shock absorbers that'll help us to endure it, not enjoy it, but endure it. And we can survive it and live somewhere close to Romans 8:28. Now, I don't say that every one of us can get right up close to Romans 8, 28, but we ought to stay in sight anyway. Don't ever let Romans 8, 28 get out of sight. Stay somewhere within sight of that great verse of Scripture. And this is the way it reads. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. And we'll stay somewhere near that verse, everything will work out. And we can say with Job, God hath given and God hath taken away. Blessed be the name of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for those wonderful promises that enable us to stand through the storms of life. And when they're raging, we can continue to stand. Bless these people who wait upon this message and may the beautiful singing, the message and song and the spoken word help each one to find something lasting and enduring that'll stay with them both for time and eternity. Help this waiting audience and your preacher that we might together just get a little bit higher to understand the meaning of the wonderful grace of God and the meaning of the cross, keep us near the cross, near that cleansing fountain. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen and amen.